Hey everyone, Nick back, and today I'm going to be discussing the biggest threat to your business's IT security. Uh, sure, there are a lot of nasty ransomware strains that can really destroy your business, and natural disasters like Sandy are bound to happen eventually, uh, but one of the consistent threats that your business will always face is your employees. Now, why is that? Uh, your employees, they're the ones opening the emails, managing the invoices, browsing social media on your network. Uh, you multiply that by how many employees you have, and that's a lot of avenues for a potential breach or a ransomware incident. Uh, the most common method of ransomware delivery is a phishing email. Uh, these are emails that look legitimate uh, just in order to get you to download whatever ransomware strain is attached to that email. Um, another breach possibility is social engineering. Uh, this is when a criminal impersonates someone trustworthy uh, in order to get a payment from you or one of your employees. Uh, there are a few tips to know uh, in order to spot these sort of emails and offering employee cybersecurity training is very important in understanding and implementing these tips. Uh, so number one, you should always know who the, who's the real sender. Uh, you should make sure that the domain name in the from field uh, matches the address between the brackets. Uh, you should watch out for addresses that contain typos in the, do uh, in the domain name. Uh, you can fake the first part of the name in an Outlook email, but you can't fake the domain in which it comes from. Uh, if it's really an email from Amazon or Google, uh, the domain name will be at Amazon. Uh, number two, always check the salutation. Uh, if you do business with a certain organization, the first line of the email should always contain your name. Uh, don't trust uh, in personal introductions such as, you know, dear customer or dear person. Uh, be aware that this isn't guaranteed as uh, fishers can get your name from social media. Uh, number three uh, is always use your mouse hover. Uh, you should hover over email links to see the full URL that you're gonna be directed to. Uh, don't click the link, just hover over it. If the address isn't where you expect it to go, then do not click it. Uh, check all the links. If all the URLs are the same, it's probably a phishing email. Number four is uh, the footer of any legitimate email should contain at minimum a physical address for the brand or institution and, uh, and an unsubscribe button. If either are missing, it's probably fake. Uh, number five, when in doubt, delete the email. Uh, if you're not sure of the sender or if even if something really small seems off, delete the email. If it's not fake, the sender will contact you another way, either by calling you or sending a follow-up email. Uh, if you believe uh, your friend's or co-worker's email was hacked, or if that, if that email that they send is suspicious, just call them to confirm it's real. Um, as far as the tools you can implement, uh, there's a number of options. Uh, we always run fake phishing campaigns for our clients. Uh, we send out fake phishing emails, and if an employee clicks on those or falls for it, They'll be redirected to a video with tips on what they should have seen in that email. Uh, mail, uh, mail filters like Mail Protector uh, can help stop spam emails before they reach your mailbox. It sort of acts as the middleman between uh, the sender and the receiver. Uh, also with those phishing campaign emails, we also get reports as to who's the most, uh, who opens the most fake phishing emails, uh, who's good at spotting them. And what we would usually do is we would sit down with the, the boss and say, hey, these employees uh, keep falling for fishes. Uh, we really recommend cybersecurity training or at least a confrontation with them, uh, asking them why they're opening these emails and why aren't they trying harder to spot fishes. Uh, so that is why your employees are your biggest threat to your business. Um, hope you guys learned a lot. Uh, this is it for the video, and I'll talk to you again sometime soon.